Well, welcome to Coffee with Job on Tuesday. Uh, I've actually just had my coffee and it's the first time I've had this. Um, it's like a mocha with dark hot, mixture of dark hot chocolate and coffee. It was really actually very nice. Animal made it. Um, I want to return to Job chapter 40 and I want to just say a little bit about this thing about the silence. I am unworthy, verse 4. How can I reply to you? I put my hand over my mouth. I spoke once, but I have no answer. Twice, but I will say no more. And I was thinking about this in terms of the sound of silence. And I'm going to try and play Simon and Garfunkel's song, The Sound of Silence, which is absolutely beautiful. If YouTube let me, if they don't, I'll put a link to it. And also, um, was it Disturbed? who had just an incredible kind of metal version of it, which I thought was absolutely stunning. But let's just say something about silence. Now, I was looking at some of the Bible verses that are involved with this. Ecclesiastes 3 says, there's a time to be silent and a time to speak. There is a time for both. Ecclesiastes 9, 17, the quiet words of the wise are more to be heeded than the shouts of a ruler of fools. Proverbs 10, 19, transgression is at work when people talk too much but anyone who holds his tongue is prudent. Or Psalm 141 verse 3, a, a psalm I find myself praying a lot. O Lord, set a guard at my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. You know, you do have to pray that, especially as a, a preacher when you're doing a lot of interactive things with people. I was down in Berkeley uh, near Wollongong and I just absolutely loved it. Loved with the people, loved the interactiveness. In fact, it was quite funny. I have to tell you this. We started off with a Q&A and we got to 11 o'clock when we were supposed to finish and we were still going with the Q&A. So uh, somebody decided, oh, we'll just read. Uh, this is like a bit like a housing scheme church. And somebody said, oh, we'll read the passage you were going to speak. And then I, I just spoke for five minutes. But it was lovely to be able to have that interaction. But you have to be very careful. Um, so that, oh, Lord, said a guard at my mouth, keep watch over the door of my lips. But Proverbs 31, 9, there's a time when you, you, you've got to stop being silent. Speak up, judge righteously, and defend the rights of the afflicted and oppressed. There's too many people in the church today who are silent on behalf of the afflicted and oppressed. I'm talking about the unborn. I'm talking about those who are abused by transgender uh, ideology. I'm talking about those who are abused by misogyny and domestic violence. I'm talking about slavery. I'm talking about... Uh, injustice, economic injustice and other things as well. And we do have to speak up. But I love this. This one, Psalm 62. My soul wait in silence for God only, for my hope is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be shaken. Wait in silence for God alone. Or Psalm 37. Be silent in the Lord's presence and wait patiently for him. Don't be angry because of the one whose way prospers or the one who implements evil schemes. And I think that's what Job's got here. Be silent in the Lord's presence and wait patiently for him. You know, I'm for myself just now, today, this is, I do feel this. I feel, Lord, what do you want me to do? What's going on? And I don't have all the answers. And in fact, I don't have any of the answers. Um, and sometimes you just, you just have to be still and know that God is God. And that's just, a, for me, that's a beautiful word. So let's come back to the sound of silence. I love these words. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping left its seeds while I was sleeping and the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence. Sometimes you feel, you see things and you can't express it because it's not the right time. And in the naked light I saw 10,000 people, maybe more, people talking without speaking, yeah. People hearing without listening, yes. People writing songs that voices never shared, and no one dared disturb the sound of silence. Fools, said I, you do not know. Silence like a cancer grows. Hear my words that I might teach you. Take my arms that I might reach you. But my words, like silent raindrops, fell and echoed in the wells of silence. And the people bowed and prayed to the neon god they made. 
and the sign flashed out its warning in the words that it was forming. Then the sign said, the words of the prophets are written on the subway walls and tenements halls and whispered in the sound of silence. There's a good silence, there's a bad silence. The words of the prophets are written on the subway walls and tenement halls. Well, may God give us wisdom. May we learn to be silent before him. May we learn to speak out against injustice. May we learn to speak for him. And God willing, I hope to see you tomorrow where we will go on to the next section.